Okay, hi, Neil O'Brien here again, and we're on to the second of our quick win strategies. And this one sounds very basic, but it's, again, it's a key one to look at, and it's increase your pricing. When's the last time you increased your pricing? Maybe a year or two ago. What's happened to your costs in that time? Costs generally only go one direction and that's up. So maybe time to increase your pricing again. And the reason why this is a great strategy is because if you increase your pricing 10%, that goes straight onto your profits. All of it goes straight onto your profits. So I've got an example here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through. Uh, it just shows you the numbers around this. And so this here's an example of a business where the total sales are 100. I'm saying the total costs are 80. I'm just using rough numbers here. So the profits are 20. Now this business increases their pricing by 10, their selling prices by 10%. What'll happen? To their sales. Their sales are going to go up from 100. 210. Their costs won't, the costs will stay as they are. Uh, even if they've gone up in recent times, they're not going to go up when you put up your pricing. So the costs are 80. So the profit will increase to 30. So at the moment, sales are 100, costs are 80, total profit is 20. If you increase your pricing by 10%, the sales will go to 110, the cost will stay at 80, and the profit will go to 30. So the profit will increase from 20 to 30 in total. That's a 50% increase in profits, which is pretty substantial. And um, so again, and of course, there's often resistance to this, but the really important thing to keep in mind is that price is only a factor 15% of the time. So every 100 times people are making a decision about buying a product or not buying a product, price is only comes into consideration a minimum of 15 out of 100 times. So 85 times out of 100, there's other factors are much more important. Your customers already deal with you. They have a relationship with you. They're probably happy with the quality and service they get and so on. They're important factors. People are slow to switch suppliers. A recent example, just uh, in recent weeks, I was talking to an engineer. I asked them, new client, when's the last time you put up your pricing? They said 18 months ago. I said, what's happened to your costs since then? They said, we've, we've given all our people salary increases. Uh, and they said, not only that, but there's, it's very difficult to get new team members and new people. It's an employee's market. So we found that salary rates have gone up. So all their costs have increased. The last increased their pricing 18 months ago. So they are due to put up their pricing. And I had this conversation with, uh, with the client. And initially, he was reluctant. But when we teased it out and thought about it, uh, he could see the sense in putting up the pricing. And there's often this bit of fear. But I, then I asked him a question. Well, you put up your pricing 18 months ago. What happened when you put up your pricing then? And he said, well, nothing. And, you know, there's a natural reaction. We think we'll lose all our clients. But people know that costs are going up. People know the pricing has to go up. That engineer had sales of 1.6 million last year. So start of a new year, they put up the they put up their price in 10%. That's going to add 160,000 onto their profit. That's a pretty significant profit. And strangely, I know if I said earlier on 50% in the example I showed you, knowing their profit from last year, actually that will add just over 50% onto their profit from last year. That's pretty significant. So reviewing your pricing is a key step in strategy. It's the second one of the quick wins along with the cross-sell matrix to hitting the ground quickly and increasing your sales and profits quickly. Okay, talk soon.